Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Abhijit, and uh, this is the third part of becoming zero to hero at Celery, uh, which is like a task scheduler in Django. So, like before starting the video, if you haven't downloaded this extension Sorcery in your uh, like VS Code, Python, uh, PyCharm. So definitely do install this plugin. This is a very awesome plugin. Like it's kind of a code refactoring thing, and it refactors your code. It like looks a lot of cleaner code. It's it's just an awesome extension. You when you will download, when you will use it, like when you will then you will say like this is really amazing extension. So the link will be in the description section. You can download it from here. So let's start the video. so like in this video we will create a scheduler which will continuously print itself uh every 30 second every 50 second what we we will go, gonna do so like we can schedule that particular task you can handle that stuff in django admin panel with the help of a library django celery beat so it's a library where you can schedule your particular task from the django admin panel and that task will continuously run in the background so we will install django celery beat so it's this is a library like when you are matlab like you can say like when you are scheduling your task it's very good like if you want to schedule a particular task from the django admin panel you don't have to like write a lot of code definitely have an option of writing and scheduling your code yeah scheduling your task from the the section but you have other options like using celery beat you can add your schedule or periodic task from django admin panel so first of all let's install this plugin the library we i have already installed the library so i don't need to install like okay so once you install the library you have to just add in the settings.py file okay so after this we need to you just need to migrate python manage.py migrate it will okay so like uh, run the server python manage dot i have already installed the, the the plugin so that's why this is the reason why it stored in other python manage dot py run server okay so when you run the server when you go to the admin panel you will get a lot of see, you will see a lot of options you can schedule a task from here you can discover all the task like if we i if i want to schedule some task this is a task which i have already created let's delete this one and uh, let's add this thing okay so like task register we have only one task sel uh, salary dot debug task which is over here let me show you salary dot debug task if i we will add some more task over here then that will definitely show in the admin section so let's create one more task like app add decorator app dot task okay app dot task def print underscore hello okay just print hello from function okay uh let's again go to the documentation of celery beat and uh, for running celery beat you can uh, do this thing so you this is a command you can just copy paste and run in the command prompt this will definitely run the celery beat in the background so i have opened three terminal one is for django one is for celery one is for running celery beat so let's run the celery server first so now our celery server is running and we have got our two task which we have register inside the celery.py first one is like debug task and another one is like print hello let's go to the celery beat section and just print so like celery beat is starting and we can again run our server so let's wait for this thing this thing and go to the admin section let's first create some 
like this is a cron tab you can definitely check the documentation where what this thing like if you are adding asterisk then th this means like every minute this task has to be done every hour every week every days every month every year and time zone you can select the time zone which you is which is like where what at what time you need to run the task so we are using utc and that will definitely depend on country to country in which country you are living and which that particular country uses a time zone and let's create a uh, like clocked this one is clock and uh, let's again go to the interval section uh, interval section we need to add some number of period at at what period it will run the task so we can add like uh, 60 second in every 60 second it should run okay so let's just save and in the in the cron tab section let's go no sorry in the periodic task section let's go and uh, let's add one task the task name is print hello and uh, task register there are only two task register which are shown here print hello and we can like schedule the interval we need to run it over every 60 seconds and just save okay so once it's done it repl it reflects schedule is change and uh, so like our scheduler is done so let's reload our server salary server and uh, let's reload our salary beat and it got a time it got a task the salary beat server is starting like right now we have got a task which is being sent by Django salary beat and uh, the task is like printing hello it just print hello and it succeeded in this much amount again we are waiting for the 60 second we have added a time span of 60 second and it will call the task in the after 60 second you can again see that the task is again task was again called in the 60 second span of time when the span was completed it again called the task so this is it for the video like how you can add periodic task in your django application using django admin in the another in the another video we will add a periodic task which will send continuously send email to the person who hasn't verified their email in like uh, one hour or two hours so it will continuously send an email like you haven't verified your email yet please verify and in the span of two hours or one hour okay so if you haven't subscribed please do subscribe let's meet you in the next video goodbye